All right, welcome back. This video, I'm going to show you how to add borders to your page, the panels. All right, so first I've already got a new page, just went to File New. If you saw my video about setting up a page, you would, you would know about the templates you can create. This is one of the templates that I, I use all the time. Or you can start with a blank page. So I got my page, it's all ready to go. And then to import your your artwork that you're going to ink. So you go to File, which unfortunately you can't see because it's off the screen. Sorry. Go to Import and Image. And really, I want to show you for the Dawn of the Jedi by Jan Dusama. Uh, she was nice enough to let me ink this as a demonstration. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm a fan of her work. So when it first comes in, depending on the size that you make your page. I always make mine 600 DPI. And this is a slightly smaller file, but not so small that it has no detail. So right off the bat, we have to enlarge it. So I'll put it up to the corner and you'll see why in a minute. It's important that when you are gonna change, when you're gonna, you know, change the size of your, the import, that you keep the keep aspect ratio checked. If you don't have that checked, as you drag it out to size it, it could get squashed and stretched. This way it always stays the same proportion, which is important. Let me see. I kind of wanted it so... Let me back out a bit. There we go. Kind of wanted it so that the black, that the top, that the name and stuff was off the top. It's a little too big, so let's bring that in a little bit. Okay, so I have the, the there's only three actual panels on this page, and I have them at the safe guy at the safe marks the for the guides. I'm I'm happy with that. So let's bring this down here. If you're going to have more than one pencil layer, I always put it into a folder, but in this case, it's just the one. And let's change that to, you know, 40%. Um, if you like that look of a blue line look where everything's in blue, you can just click this right here. That'll give it the blue. But I don't really need that for this. All right. And then this is an important step. I always lock the pencil layer because, you know, you don't want to accidentally be on that layer and then start inking. And then you're like, oh, gosh, now what? All right, so onto the actual borders themselves. That is U, the key shortcut is U, or figure right here. And the reason why it says figure is because under it, U, you've got, you know, the lines, the curve, the straight tool, the polygon, the frames, the rulers, what they call saturation for um, bursts. And this one you can scattered stream and gloom, rain, some really cool stuff over here. But we're interested with the frame. So I click the rectangle, because the rectangle. Let me see, right off the bat, I have the black selected. You can change it after, but it's just nice to have it set and ready to go. And the brush size is 20.3. Now imagine the brush size is the size of the brush that is going to go around the, the frame you make like a stroke. So basically, it's a silly way of saying your panel thickness. <laughs> All right, so since the it's lined up with the guides and everything will snap to the guide, I can go right up here, click, and drag. See how it's snapped? See it's green right over in here? So it's staying snapped to the guides. Okay, there. Now I'm going to turn the guides off because I might want to adjust it a bit. And if the guides are on, it'll continue to snap right back to the guides. So let's turn those off. Let me see. You know, I'm actually happy with the placement of that. Okay, now I'm sure a lot of you would probably start, you know, you divide it up and then you would use this mask that the frame has made when you did this which if you're on this layer, you can work and ink and it doesn't leave that, that panel. 
so it doesn't go outside and go over art you may have already done out here. I don't do that. I actually, well, you'll see what happens at the end. Okay, so let me think here. Go back to divide frame. And what this is going to do is exactly what it says. It's just, just going to divide the frame. Now, it'll cut it in half this way, and then I'm going to cut it the top frame in half to make two. If I went down to cut these two, I would have two long. Here, I'll show you. If I did that, I would have two long ones, and then that's going to be hard to make that. So you go and you hold down shift when you do this, because if you hold down shift, it keeps it at horizontal, 45, and vertical. If you have angles of panels that are different, don't hold down shift, and you can adjust it however you need. So there, let's see how that looks before I move on to make sure that I don't like to keep my, I don't like my panels too close because then I think it gets muddy and makes it look like one big giant thick border in the middle. Uh, you know, I, the pencils has it up higher, but I, I'm just going to stick with that. Then go back to the frame and then you can divide this top panel into two. So if she's got it on like an angle, I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to hold down shift so that it stays nice and vertical. There. Okay. Again, some people would start inking and doing their work in here. I don't do it that way. I just got used to doing it like this. I go to frame, layer, I right click and I just rasterize it. Now, if this has been a, if this was a very complicated like bunch of panels, like a circle over here, an oval, or a couple of diagonal, odd shaped panels, I would turn this off and put it down here just to keep it if, if I needed to redo it or move stuff around. But this is three rec, this is two squares and a rectangle. So I'm just going to keep up, keep my layers a little clean. And all I have now is just the frames on a separate layer. Uh, let me see if I can explain this. Now, if this would have been a, you know, a page that didn't have it all black up here, if it had more panels down here, and the outside was just a white border, I would fill the outside of the frames white so that any lines that did go outside the frame would be hidden by that white border. But again, this goes all the way up to black, and there's some lightning up in here. So there's that's it. Just like the pencils, I'm going to lock that because you know you you do almost a whole panel on the frame layer by accident before you know. Then from that point on, you you start to you start to lock the frame so you don't make that mistake. Okay, that is a basic way to put in, you know, your panels. I hope that helped. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll catch you in the next video.